hotspot. Now, three fires in a span of just a month's time has the state government in India's financial capital, Mumbai, scrambling to take precautions against another fire outbreak. The recent mishap at a high-rise building in Andheri has prompted Mumbai authorities to take a closer look at the fire norms in the city. Ankita Sinha reports. Mumbai and the entire nation watched with horror as a blazing fire raged on for hours and gutted the Lotus Business Park, a 22-storey building in Andheri. After eight hours of firefighting, the blaze was doused, but not before a fireman lost his life and 20 of his colleagues were left injured. In the last one month, there have been two other such mishaps. These incidents have raised a serious question. Have we been lax about fire safety measures? Experts believe more can be done to improve the fire safety in buildings. It starts with uh, the passive strategy that we put in place. One, it begins with complying with the necessary norms and not negotiating those. Uh, second, you need to build the, the structure in such a way that there is compartmentalization, that is zoning between different parts of the building, which can hold fire in certain parts. Then you have to look at uh, fire-resistant doors, fire-resistant glass. After the incident in Andheri, the Mumbai Municipal Corporation has now cracked the whip saying fire safety audits of all multi-storey buildings be completed within a month's time. As a precaution, the Maharashtra Urban Development Department too is now drawing a proposal to make it compulsory for all high-rises more than 200 metres tall to have heliports on their terraces. While the Mumbai Fire Services Department is now in an overdrive, supervising private agencies that carry out inspections at high-rise buildings across the city. It is practically not possible for the regulator to inspect each and every building. It would invite a huge battery of people. So this is a legal outsourcing mechanism which is provided. If such license agencies, they flout in giving certificate, if they give a malicious certificate, they are likely to be prosecuted under Section 36 of the Act. While the agencies are doing their bit, let's talk about other precautions that need to be taken while constructing a building. Fire equipments are in place, they are working properly, the, uh, they are like there are two stairs cases in Noida. They are, in some places you see that they ask for one staircase. Uh, similarly, uh, you see that the sprinkler system in the flats are required, uh, then uh, the fire extinguishers on every floor is required then uh, there should be separate tank for, uh, uh, for uh, the firefighting system. Keeping in mind the series of fire mishaps in Mumbai in the last few weeks, Kredai has issued new guidelines in the use of glass buildings in Nashik. Architects believe the same must be initiated in Mumbai as well. It's, it's, quite, uh, it's quite nice that uh, industry bodies are actually waking up to the fact that uh, we need a we need lot more uh, application uh, when it comes to fire safety and we need a lot more thought when it comes to fire safety. And Kredai, uh, the three recommendations that they've made is a step in the right direction. These are a few simple ways to ensure fire safety is maintained in buildings across the city. Now will developers make the needed investment to make sure their multi crore buildings are made fireproof? Or will we see more such incidents going forward? From Mumbai, Ankita Sinha for NDTV.